Great YouTube, Captain Machine here, back for another short. And today I'm responding to the rant with regards to wisdom. I'm going to try and keep this short because last time I did film this, it took over 10 minutes long and it kind of derived the point. Um, there has been a lot of people talking about the rule sets for 3rd edition or 3.5 or by extension Pathfinder where people are looking at rules and going, that doesn't make sense, I want to change that. And if you are genuinely of the opinion that something doesn't make sense and to you it makes more sense to change it, then by all means do so but always make sure you've got your players consent before you do it and consult with them as well to see whether or not they agree with it it could be you're the only person at the table that has this problem and as such fixing the problem might actually cause more problems than it's than it ended to alleviate shall we say i always like pathfinder rule set the third edition rule set when i first encountered it i was a really big fan of over time i sent saw, saw some of the problems but a lot of the problems I'm encountering that being mentioned on YouTube weren't the problems I was encountering. By the end of 3.5, I had like a three-page, four-page document, which had all the house rules on it. And a lot of the problems that I had I identified internally by that document were actually fixed by the Pathfinder rule set. So I must have been either subconsciously aware of the fact that other people were complaining about this, or I had identified some other things that people had had a problem with in the past. Um... My players were okay with the rules. I did check beforehand about playing these. I said, would you mind if we did these? A couple got thrown out, which is fine. Um, but the rest were implemented for the short period of time. We used them up until the Pathfinder beta came out and then Pathfinder actual rulebook came out. But to on to the topic at hand, which is the rant about wisdom and how you think, how... Um, I'm going to butcher the name here, so I do apologise because it's... Is it? Here we go. It's Ar Arizak eighty three. I'm probably butcher. And of course, you've got a real name, but I, I haven't learned it yet, so I'm sorry about that. I'm not very good with names. First thing you'll learn about me if you ever meet me in real life. Right. You have been told previously that um, wisdom is street smarts compared to book smarts, and there is a subtle element of truth to it. I can understand your your um, that your response to that, which was well, both basically they're both applied knowledges, so sure they're both common intelligence, and I would argue the toss on that one uh, in terms of the fact that academic smarts, book smarts, is generally speaking the vast majority of people you encounter can't self-teach themselves. They have to require some kind of input from a third party to f to go through the learning process. Whereas something like street smarts. You can pick up by osmosis, by just paying attention, by just um, you know hanging around other people. You can pick that up over time. But that uh, that I'm not going to argue the point on that one because I don't feel that that was a very good example they could have given you. And obviously, when you go back to the original books and concepts, and it says something like "This is intelligence, but." Uh, I can see why we have an issue with that as well. However, to me, if you look at how wisdom is used in the current game, which is Pathfinder, uh, we're talking about what well, I'm talking about here, and I think to some extent this this does apply to 3.5 and to Fourth Edition. If you look at how it's used, then it makes more sense, or you can derive the sense they're trying to make with it. So it's not really a step that I think you can get rid of easily. I generally think that um, wisdom is not only a, a measure of your common sense, and if you use it as dump stat, then you will tend to find that your character is susceptible to stupid ideas, which or uh, silly ideas, or be susceptible to uh, being convinced of the bad ideas are good ideas, or such and so forth. Uh, generally speaking, if you have a low wisdom, you have a low amount of common sense. And we've all met people in the real world that have that. You know, uh, just go and watch um, America's Most Wanted. Go watch all these shows about funny criminals who get caught in stupid ways because they did stupid things. That's an example of a low wisdom score. Also, it derives to your mental fortitude, and as such, it derives to your will, will, step, will save. Now, you've argued that physical pain and mental pain are basically dealt with and processed in the body in the same way up here. And that is very true. 
and there are several games out there that have done that where they've actually used willpower to determine how much damage you can take before you either pass out or die and I couldn't I can see where you're coming from but I think by that extension you're misunderstanding what the fortitude save does as well the fortitude save is about pain be it imagined um, which is like a spell that racks you with pain which doesn't actually hurt you, doesn't actually poke you with anything, doesn't actually stab you, doesn't actually slice you or anything like that. It just racks you with physical pain. That would be a fortitude save. Sticking your hand in something hot, um, exposing yourself to the elements, that's all fortitude. Willpower, if you see how the game handles willpower, is all about stopping people changing your perceptions of things. Whether it be how you perceive the world in terms of things like illusions or being tricked, or it could be a case of um, stopping people controlling your actions or make, maintaining control over yourself. Stuff like mental domination or um, any sort of confusion-based abilities, for example. Um, all derived to the wisdom stat. The, 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 will, the will save, which in turn derives to the wisdom stat. And that's what that does. Um, and I like that way of doing it. That if you are trying to overcome pain be it imagined or real, then use the fortitude save. And if you're trying to um, overcome somebody's ability to change how you perceive the world or how you act or anything like that, then it's a, then it's a will willpower save. A will save, sorry, which in turn is from wisdom. Next, and this is, um, this is something you also brought up, which is perception. I don't think that perception has to be the magic seventh stat. It did used to be back in AD and D, because back in AD and D there wasn't really a convenient way of determining if a player saw something. So when I used to play AD and D, and this applies to all my group in the past, we used to have a seventh stat called perception, which you used to determine whether or not uh, you could perceive something, you could hear something, or see something coming. So if you wanted to. Um, walk over a tightrope you made a dex check if you wanted to walk break down uh, something solid use a strength check and so on and so forth and if you wanted to see something coming you made a perception check um, in 3.5 third edition and pathfinder you actually have skills derived to this which is a which is a departure from ad and d because ad and d skills or proficiencies as were called back then were literally just applied skills you had be it a craft skill or a applicable skill or anything like that there wasn't something that you could dump your information into we like perceiving things there was no spot check there was no listen check there was no perception check i would say that the wisdom if you look at it that way then it also implies that it determines how aware of your surroundings you are at a subconscious level because the ability to learn how to see things and learn how to perceive things, you can only take that training so far. And the rest of it comes through applied use of that skill set or a natural aptitude for it. You tend to find this um, in the military. You'll get people that are taught how to see things. They're, okay, that in the future, in the distance, you can see that, that is that. It looks like something else. It's designed to look like something else, but it's actually this thing that you are to need to be made aware of. It could be a mortar, it could be a vehicle, it could be an enemy soldier. And you you are taught how to see that. And you can apply that skill. That's something you can be taught. However, after a while, the ability to learn that plateaus. It hits a glass ceiling. And the rest of it is your just practice of that skill set or it is just a case of... Um, I'm saying erm again. And I, don't, I promise I wouldn't do that. There we go. It, it's basically your skill set plateaus. The rest of it comes through practice or through your natural aptitude. So you can determine that your wisdom stat in terms of perception is your ability to perceive things subconsciously. Because after a while you can't really learn these skill sets when it comes to spotting things or hearing things. And then finally you've got the actual skills themselves. Things like healing, things like survival. Uh, I must admit, I really could have prepared better for this by actually reading the book before I did this. But they're the two that always stick in my head. And yes, you could argue that both of them are academic skills you have to learn. However, I would say that in both cases, they are skills that you use differently in your head. Um, when you're dealing with a situation where you're trying to determine the identity of something, then it comes under 
say, a, a knowledge check or like spellcraft or something like that. And that is you retrieving information mentally and then reapplying it back to the world so you can regurgitate information, regurgitate what you've learned in the past. When it comes to things like survival, what you're doing is you're instinctively using a skill set immediately um, to your surroundings. So if you're wanting to hunt, you're actively looking for small signs and small indications that there are animals present. Or you're looking for shelter, you're looking for that magic sweet spot of shelter versus concealment versus all the other things you need from that. I mean, I'm not an outdoorsman, I don't know the ins and outs of it. But you can be taught that, yes, but when you start applying it, you have to do it instinctively, you have to do it reactively. You can't sit back and ponder it. You can when you find get there and you go, is it any good? But when it, I would say that in terms of things like the survival skill and also by extension the healing skill, these are things you have to use reactively. These are things you have to use instinctively. You don't look at a dying patient and go, hmm, how do I fix this problem? You look at a dying person because they've been stabbed or shot or whatever situation they happen to be in and you instinctively see what's causing the problem and you treat it. And if you fail the check, then obviously your ability to perceive it hasn't been appropriate to the situation. You have to also account for failure in these particular things as well. So, to summarise, and this has been a long video, I really am sorry about that guys. Wisdom to me comprises four elements. First of all, it's your common sense. Secondly, it's your ability to withstand uh, mental manipulation, either externally or internally. It also uh, derives your ability to universally and subconsciously perceive information around you in terms of your perception. And finally, I honestly believe that it applies to skill sets which you have to use re reflexively, uh, almost, again, subconsciously, compared to retrieving information from mental stores within your brain. So, I would argue and I'm not saying that I'm right on this subject, but I would argue that the wisdom stat needs to be kept in the game because of that is what it does. If you were to take it out, replace it with something else, you would literally have to rejig the entire game, all the skills, all the stats, to account for the fact that that element of the game has been lost. And I think that's more hassle than it's worth. Thank you for your time, guys, and goodbye.